what's up welcome back to the channel my name is Simon Servita and today I'm doing a collab with Cody so what we're doing today is actually a little bit different we're gonna hop on discord and pretty much make a beat from start to finish so he's gonna screen share his Apple studio and then we're gonna pass the project back and forth until we finish it I actually haven't done this before so I'm not sure how it's gonna turn out but we'll see what happens how about uh you introduce yourself uh what's up I am um my friends call me KBZ um I'm a producer mm. I'm just kidding. My name's Cody. Uh, I've been producing for uh, uh, like a month now and I run a YouTube channel and uh, I started the second channel for tutorials and now I am teaming up with the Simon. I always f up up uh, how to pronounce your last name. Sir I don't want to f it up. Servita? Ser Servia. Servia. You got it. Okay, good. See, first try. I could definitely start a melody. Um, okay. I do that right now. Yeah. I could... Um, well, little disclaimer, I usually sample, but you know what? It's good practice. It's training exercise. I could, I could, I could do this and you could give me maybe some pointers too while I, okay. while I work my, my somewhat magic. Mm -hmm. Right. All right. I'm gonna open something. Some Omnisphere. Mm. Have you heard of In Memoriam? Um, vaguely. I heard like one, maybe one trap song used that. Mm -hmm. Guitar is popular now, right? Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm a set this thing up. Maybe cut out. So usually I, it's just how I set stuff up. Oh, you're doing it before part. you even hear it. Or do you already know how uh, that sounds? I know I have an idea. Okay. Um, and I know, and I, I got a little bit of an idea of like what I want most of my stuff to sound like. Just with the vibe I've been going for it. as of late. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I think I'm gonna end up half timing this. Uh -huh. And nobody judge me, please. That sounded good. Right here? Yeah, that's. Okay, that does sound good. So this is usually how I usually change like the last one, mm -hmm. but then I'll go back and maybe add like little things, but um Usually from here, I'll half time, see how some like start messing with the half time, see how that sounds. Mm -hmm. Maybe add a little bit of unstable viewers. Like when you're messing with this and you put it in half time, it's only it's not gonna like play here. Mm -hmm. It's just it's just gonna play this. So But when I record it into Edison, it's really cool because you can like, I'll let the Edison play the loop like seven times and just hear which one sounds yeah, best. Cause it sounds different every time. You know what I mean? Cause yeah. it's always warping mm -hmm. on its own. Yeah. For the last chord, can you try something different? Uh, yeah. You here. And that move that, uh, move it to the G. So one up as well. Oh, that sounds funky. Oh, can you move um the B down? No, it should uh... Yeah, B down one, yeah, there. Better. Sounds a little better. Yeah. That sounds kind of dope. You know what we can do too is mess with some of the... I like that. Oh yeah, you do that too? I like that too. I, I just yeah. found out about that like last week. Uh, yeah, um, I, I like found it out. I, I, I just mess around with a lot of these VSTs. I just click buttons like, mm -hmm. you know, if I have beat block or something, I just start experimenting. So yeah, that's the best thing to do. I like my, dr my, my kicks and my 808s to mostly be the center of the track and give it a lot of room. So I pan I stuff even if it's just a little bit, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Alt R randomizer. Just make yes. sure that you don't have a whole bunch because it could seed randomly, and it can have all of them like like this, and you don't want it all on one side. So mm -hmm. pay attention. Kind of humanize it a little bit and give it a little bit of organization. Um, You're really dropping knowledge in this video. Yeah, I'm trying, man. This is all secret stuff. This is all stuff I was gonna drop on my channel, but guess what? I'm unselfish, and I give 
your channel the sauce because I like your viewers and I like you. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> just to fill this out, I am going to add this to the other one, the other side. Um, How do you know where you're putting it though? It just seems like you're plopping it down in a random place. Okay, so I've just been doing it for a while. It's eight beats, so. Oh, because that's when you do, that's the new chord change. Yep. Okay, so, gotcha. Is this what we're naming the beat? Uh, yeah, that's ah, going to be the damn it. name. I put it in the... <laughs> What'd you do? Uh, <laughs> I always forget how to. Oh, yeah, so now it's gonna um, know how to change that. Select. I hate that, dude. I know what you're talking it's helpers, about. It's helpers. Background waveform, Alt N. That's that's the sauce right there. Do you like your samples dry or on the wet side? Completely up to you. Does it, I, I could work No, like, I'm just, I'm just curious about. In general, um, I like them kind of flat, to be honest. Um, mm -hmm. If if I chop the sample um, in Slicer and I do something funky where it's just not bump, 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 bump on BPM, uh -huh. um, I'll add a little bit of delay and reverb so it fills out the, the empty space. But for the most part, I like it dry. I feel like my drums are the weakest part for me. And do you think the melody is the weakest part for you? Yeah, for the most part, yeah. Your drums okay. are garbage trash. <laughs> Okay. No, I'm just playing. Let me use the Cody I'm just, kit. I'm just playing with you. <laughs> Actually, I don't think I've ever made a, a beat this fast. Oh, dude, I can pump them out now as of recent. I can mm -hmm. pump them out pretty good. I'm, I'm, I'm like happy about that. Mm -hmm. The rim is popular now, you know what I mean? Rim the sounds. rim is very popular. That is the way so, right now. I like to I like to switch it up and like just because I like to do my own thing and not just follow every trend there is. But I do mm -hmm. like the rim sound. I've been using it for a good while now. Mm -hmm. Do you, you do the, the this thing? The little... The pa -pa. Um, if I'm trying to get some place, yep. <laughs> that's, that's, place, you know, that's placement pattern. That's, you know, that, that two spots, they're like, uh, you're like, uh, nah, nah, all right, yeah, this ain't getting placed. Oh, well, I never got a placement, so I don't know. I don't even know what conversation we're having right now. Oh, uh, man, you'll get one. Here's the thing, though. People think that, you know, to be successful, you have to have a placement. It's just not true. I have placements, and the things I'm most happy about is, like, Right now, like I'm, I, I mean, I'm trying to get placement still, mm -hmm. but focusing on expanding the second channel is really fun for me. I really enjoy like the feedback from everybody, from your personal brand, helping people. Yeah. Um. So placements aren't everything. It's just that it's just that thing that's been in the limelight for a long time, and it's the thing you hear on the videos. Mm -hmm. yeah, I need to mix this. Do you do you mix as you go or? Um. It's funny because I have different formulas for different things that I'm doing. But yeah, for the most part, I'll, I'll mix as I go. If, but it's all dependent on if I know what sound I want. Do you usually put a soft clipper on the master or do you level everything out? I have a limiter. Fruity limiter. Yeah. I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> you don't know what you're talking about. Uh, I'm feeling it. I feel like I have something about the snare and the sample, they're not like hitting. You want to... You wanna might be a head. So let's drag it. Drag it a little bit, yeah. Immediate blue. This is already better. Yeah, okay. You hear an open hat too? Like a, a normal uh, trap one, like. You might have to uh, lower the time on it. It might be stretched just a wee bit. Uh, <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, mm 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 mm. Yeah, that sounds good. I want it a bit longer. Mm -hmm. yeah. The arrangement's really what gives it that energy once you have yeah. something going. Mm -hmm. More so than the amount of sounds you put in. And if it's got 100 sounds, it might still not have energy if you don't set it up properly. What kind of 808s do you feel? Like a like classic? Some smacky. Um, yeah, we could do some classic too. Yeah. You know? What do you mean by classic? Um, have you heard of Spins 808? You know that yeah, one? Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's why. You... Uh, yeah, I need to see the chords. Okay. Oh, the right. I got it. Um. Remember, we pitched it up one. Yeah, I think. Uh... I kind of hear a flute on this too. I don't know. Oh, you would hear a flute on this. Yeah, I'm a I'm a slut for booty melodies. Oh, okay. Oh, it's this. 
You know what I like to do a lot now recently, just because like slides are, you know, everybody does slides now. Uh-huh. I, I like to do subtle slides, like a slide. What do you mean uh, subtle slide? What are you talking so, about? So like, like going, going to your 808? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm sorry, like into the uh, pattern, piano roll with the 808. Um, right at like the bar. Um, drop it down an octave with a slide and like make it almost like uh, almost instant. Right at where here? No, um, right. Go next. Um, right next to that note to the right. Mm-hmm. Sorry. Go. No, I'm sorry. To the right. The next one. Go to the next. Wait. wait. To the left. Right. Right where the bar starts there. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yep. Uh, oh, drop it down an octave. Drop it down an octave. As a slide. And s- so uh, a like slide, that. but oh, no, yeah. so no, lower, is, lower, lower, the, uh... slower. Mm-hmm. Here? Yeah, like there, yeah, but but make it a slide and make it shorter, the slide shorter. So it slides faster. But it's is it sliding up to this? No, it's not. No, no, no. It's sliding from, that's what I'm saying. It's more subtle because it's at the end of the first note. Uh, bring it over, way over. Of this one? Please. Yeah. Okay, oh, because be we're using right like a short yeah, example, exactly. so then... Yeah, that, oh, that's okay. what I'm saying. But you could do it a little bit though, just like very subtle. At, um, like that. Like yeah, but sl- but um, shorten it though, and at the end, yeah, faster and at the end of it. Oh, oh, that's real subtle. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Let's figure out how we're gonna drop it then. Mm-hmm. Let's uh, let's do like some. Oh, this is a long sample. Uh, let's do like some funky automation with this then. How does this sound of octave go? Not bad. It's not bad. We can just EQ it a bit. You might too. You can probably merge it, make it a little more mono, just for the intro, so that when it comes yeah, yeah, in, yeah, smacks. You could turn that way down. It might sound good. Turn that one way down. I was thinking of like automating it into. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. too. When you send it over to me, I'll be able to get a good ear. Okay. automating the reverb as well yeah you could just like do a whole bunch of stuff like that you got the um <laughs> damn it let me find it you have the 8d audio plugin no <laughs> it's not a stock plugin it's you gotta download it mm-hmm. it's from sennheiser mm-hmm. <laughs> do you hear that oh my lord okay you want me to send it back yeah send it back how come there's an x in your name um, Cody would have sounded dumb. But you're pronouncing it Cody. Dude, when I first started producing, my th- my thought process was if they do a list for like upcoming producers and they do an alphabetical order, I wanted to have an, like an A in the first part of my name. So it'd be the first at the list. That was like my thinking when I first started <laughs> producing. So I had an ACR, which was all Cody Rounds production. It was uh-huh. ACR production. So I was like, that was my thought process. Then down the line, I was like, Every time somebody's like, what does ACR stand for? I like, I can't, I couldn't stand like <laughs> explaining to somebody. <laughs> that, hey, hey, put that back on. What are you doing? Are we thinking of adding another melody? Um, I haven't gotten that far yet as far as my like thinking, my thought process. I'll, uh, I'll stop screen sharing mine for now because it's not really relevant. Yeah. So you can't hear that, right? No. Okay. Don't want to sit down, just wait and get like, Mm -hmm. we really get going now. Ooh, I got an idea. Two different Uh hi-hats. I'll have your Mm hi-hat and then when it changes, go to this Mm hi-hat. Oh, I hear it. I hear it pretty good right now. I'm feeling it. Feeling it in my loins. It's going to be good. I think I got something. Okay, cool. I'll send it to you once I figure it out. I feel it. It's gonna be fuego. Okay, what do you want the MIDI to be for? Counter melody. Um, if you want to put it as a wave, you could just export it as a wave. I'll bri- bring yeah, it. I couldn't figure out a sound. That's why I gave it to you. Oh, uh, okay. Um, yeah, I can make a sound. You want me to pick one? Mm-hmm. 
See, see it works? Okay. Um, yeah, listen to it first. It's, it's kind of, it's just something to layer on top. Okay. And what were you thinking as far as sound goes? Like, was it a, were you thinking of a bell or something? Um, maybe, close to a bell, maybe keys or something. It's, uh, definitely on the higher register. Okay. Have you heard of In Memoriam? What? What's that? Have you been arranging it as well? Uh, a little bit, yeah. Okay. Good lord. What else did you add, by the way? I wasn't concentrating. So I heard like rim shots or something. Uh, I added... Remember I was telling you, you had that snare. I added a... Uh, rolls, I hear that. I, I added rolls. Um, the thing I added was a uh, different open hat. Mm -hmm. um, I added, uh, obviously, that counter melody you added. Different hi-hats that I need to fix now. Need to add more variation with the kick mm -hmm. and the 808 when that comes in, and I think it'll sound really, really good. Do all your drums, if you could see my screen, do everything here and, and then this, right click. Uh, split by channel? Yeah, I oh. usually do that. I learned that from Sharp. Oh yeah? <laughs> yeah, he had a video on it. Oh, shit. St usually with sounds I find or I make myself. Yeah. Like, I, I, I like this anime sword. Oh. I'm gonna stop messing with it. Save. Okay, what do you want me to do? Uh, file. File, file. Export. Export. Zip blue package to top. Oh, that's all you need to do? Yeah. Well, yeah, because I don't I have could... I don't have your flute keys. I don't, I don't that's what I'm saying. I, or... I, I could I could just bring it in as a wave. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I'll wave it's easier. So yeah. I'm gonna bring it in. This is the actual pattern, and then this is the full thing at the end. So you could chop that if you want to have the full ah, thing. Gotcha. Yeah. You can do um, Alt Control C as well, by the way. For what? Alt Control, Control. C. Oh, holy shit. That's a game changer for me. You're amazing. Holy cow. Would you read the manual? I did. Would you buy <laughs> would you buy a fell? Imagine buying FL. Can I drop it into? Did you have to send it? It it might be too big, so uh, just email. I've heard that before. Boy, if you don't. Why is everything muted right now? You um, broke it. Just because <laughs> I listened to you. You broke it. I listened to you. Uh, press uh, T. Okay. T. And then kind of just scrub through, like left click and hold and scrub through the muted tracks. They're just they're just muted. I know I'm doing that. No, like the actual uh, pattern. Yeah. Ah, uh, trying to break my FL, dude. <laughs> oh, I muted it again. No, you're editing most some most of this, right? Yeah. What do you mean? Yeah. You, just in general, the video. Mm -hmm. Um, so can you make sure? Um, like I said, just I don't want any of my kits on the left, like to be shown. So you you don't want me to zoom in on it, like right now? Yes, don't. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Really appreciate that. <laughs> I sent it to you. Just to be clear, we're not zooming in on it. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Guess what? I'm unselfish, and I give your channel the sauce. But other than that, you could finish it. I mean, we got yeah. most of it done. You can arrange it, add some of the small small stuff. Mm -hmm. How do you usually arrange it? Because you're you're doing it for like rappers and stuff, right? It's like this seems like a too long of an intro. Um, to be honest, with this track, might even just have hi hats hitting right in the intro. Bring all that over. Too. Yeah, just transcribe it all over. There you go. Uh, we'll see. I didn't end up using it. You want the hi hats in? Oh, I did have halftime. Never mind. Yeah, bring it in the intro. Yeah. Then we have to do the volume.
I'm gonna take this out because um I like the hit. That's fine. Because um like make cause, it more dramatic. Like because this is so new. That, yeah, that's fair. Yeah, like we'll introduce something new. Like in terms of like length. Um, like how long the entire song? Yeah. So like okay, like, we're thirty four seconds. New, pretty pretty new wave has been like two minute thirty seconds. Like mm -hmm. right under three minutes has been a lot of songs I've been hearing. Like do you do hook and then verse like that thing? Um can uh i'll let you take the lead on that i like to see what other people do too because i okay. usually don't think about that stuff too much and i mm -hmm. probably should so like explain your thought process to me when you're doing this too like if i was doing a song i'd have a verse and a mm -hmm. hook okay. um this is obviously the more high energy part so we'll make this the hook, mm -hmm. um which would give them only eight bars for a verse which seems a bit short so let's uh it's actually cool to fuck I never thought of it that way. That's so, cool. if I was a rep, like, yeah. Um, okay. Is that, yeah, so then that's 16. Like, yeah. Spit a yep, hot 16. 16. Mm -hmm. um, people sometimes have, like, uh, like, two to four, like, four bars like this. And then they'll kind of just, uh, like, kind of bring it down right before the hook. Oh, this is cool. Like, pre-chorus uh, pre or something. So, yeah. we can... Like uh, like bring back That's like some of these automations or something. Okay. Or uh maybe the hi hats. Yeah, the hi hats like that. Yeah. You can with automation. Get like the kick pattern, take out the mm -hmm. snare at some points. Yeah. Maybe the open hat too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, Opens. We'll just keep it empty until the mm -hmm. drop there. Um, maybe add that instead of that anime splash at the end there, you can add that before the drop, um, like where it is now, but over there. Mm. Like right there. Where is it? Yeah. Right here. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Like a um, bar or like half. We'll half or whole. I, the last song I did was whole. It doesn't matter. Play that. You can play the flute all mm -hmm. the way with an automation. Yeah. Because we made this, it feels like. The 808's coming too late because we're yeah because you know, yeah, like you're stalling there's all this it was up. different it was different mm -hmm. before because we had the 808 going the whole time so the yeah. break sounded right but yeah but can, now there's too yeah. much of a break so mm -hmm. yeah that sounded cool but the hook is right now it's eight so it is and yeah, it is a faster fine. song so we can double it as well okay Cause I, so I like it. Like I, it wanna, I want. I want to hear more of it. Cause I like the hook a lot. Mm -hmm. And then we can put the the delayed thing you did before. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can go back to that. Yeah. So this is where I get lazy. I usually just copy and paste, and then we're just slowly mm -hmm. like dropping. Oh well, yeah. Uh, think we're under two minutes now, and then we have two mm -hmm. verses and two hooks already. So this is the part where it's kind of like, oh, should we just do three? Like, just go for another copy and paste. Yeah, like, yeah. Maybe like copy faster. paste. There's a, there's another like hundred different things we could do. Like two forty five, or we can do. That'll be, that'll be perfect. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, like just like, and then just more variation on each. And we don't want to forget about the anime slash two. Yeah. Certain parts. How much? How much anime slash is too much anime slash though? Because it's such a, mm -hmm. such a unique it's a sound. You don't want to. Yeah. Overuse it. Yeah. Let's make it hit on the beat for this last one. Yeah. Uh, maybe drop the hi-hats out in the beginning. Mm -hmm. Of just that one. That uh -huh. one. That one. Cut the end of... No, no, I mean like actually cut it and copy it over. Right. Oh. What? You broke it. You broke it. Move it? No, don't move it. Don't move it. Oh, like, okay. Just cut it. Yeah. I was doing uh, that. No. More. Not like that. More though. Oh, so that yeah. one. There you go. Yeah. And okay. bring that over where I said, uh, make a fun of that 808 when there's no noise. Put that there. Okay. You yeah. Want to, uh, copy and paste that. To relocate. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Bring that there and take out the kicks. See how that sounds. 
Or just move the kicks over. Okay. Maybe maybe you could uh, make that unique and bring it up at the end. Um, do something there. It sounds like harsh in a good way because you're cutting everything out. Yeah, maybe this. There we go. Maybe play with the panning. Ah, Get, the panning. We're getting we're getting real. Uh, we're getting real crazy right now. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Do it with the other one on the left of that one too. The left slide, that one down. Yeah. There you go. See how that's. I because it feels like if it's not an even number, I don't want to pan it because. Like the left ear is enjoying something and the mm -hmm. right ear is not going to get anything, you know? Yeah, exactly. Uh, you know, just a little bit of the, this, some of this. If I do an outro like that and mm -hmm. I post it on YouTube, people have cut my stuff and sold it. It's so weird. Like people, oh, will, people, will cut, people will cut that outro and use it for their own beat or they'll cut that outro and like uh i won't name names because we're on your I'll, I'll call them out on my stuff but the, like okay. the, there's a place who call who will like i've caught them no joke like nine times selling my loops like they'll cut off a loop or a sample i chopped up they'll sell it in a pack on their site it's absolutely crazy sometimes i like i like just doing that i, I like that like i like that we just do like that right well the song before it, it kind of matches with the song because the song comes in quick too in the intro so That's perfect cool. sounds awesome really like it mm -hmm. it was really fun thanks man uh let's do that i'm gonna edit, i'm gonna actually mix this right now and probably send you an mp3 in like 15 20 minutes yeah me too all right bud see you later video hope you enjoyed it the full beat is in the description big shout out to cody for collabing with me today i'm gonna leave all his links in the description as well let me know if you like this format make sure you comment below other producers i should do this with and i'll see you guys soon if you have any suggestions leave a comment if you like this video leave a like if you really like this video subscribe if you didn't like this video leave just leave get out of here